here's a shot of our solar panels. Look at that. And right next to the solar panels, oh, we got wood. We've got a tractor. We've got more wood, more wood, <laughs> lots of wood. And we are abutted to thousands and thousands and thousands of acres of pure wilderness. So I ask you friends, as we go off into that wilderness and do a little hiking this morning, good morning. Welcome to our off-grid homestead. How prepared are you friends? How prepared are you if the SHTF really does hit the fan? Now I know, no matter what video I post and I talk about the SHTF, there's always going to be naysayers out there that say, oh, it's never gonna happen. It hasn't happened. We're, we've been talking about an economic collapse forever. There's always been wars. There's always been a violence and cops shooting innocent people and rioting. There's always been that. So I'm not worried. Well, that's good. That's good if you're not worried because if you're not worried, you don't have to watch the rest of the video. But I really want to appeal to those people who are thinking about their preparedness and an SHTF situation. And that SHTF situation just doesn't need to be rioting or the grid going down. It can be a natural disaster. It can be a fire. You know, we had fires come through this area last summer and they got so close to home that we were packing things up. We were packing things up. We were very concerned. So, you know, it can strike at any time. And I will ask again, how prepared are you? Do you have the ability to, like what I'm doing today, I'm walking through my backyard. Do you have the ability to, oh, look at that, identify edibles? Just in case you would have to go out in the wilderness and find yourself something to eat. Are you able to do that? Now that is a skill in a knowledge set that you need to have and you need to practice. As I walk, I'm looking at, I mean, do you know what these berries are? Do you know what they do? These are actually a June berry or they're called service berries. And not only can you eat them, they're edible, but they have medicinal purposes. The bark actually can be made into a tonic, infused into a tonic uh, that does many things like fight snow blindness. Yeah, the Native Americans used to use it for snow blindness. Kind of weird, but that's what they used it for. Uh, they also use it for a women, this is kind of strange, but women who have a lot of a menstrual um, uh, periods and after childbirth uh, with the placenta and there's a lot of bleeding. Well, what happens if we have an SHTF situation and we're giving natural childbirth? Well, you can use uh, the service berry bark to help control that bleeding. See, the Native Americans really knew what they were doing. Why? Because they had to live in this wilderness and live off the land and use Use wild edibles for medicinal purposes and for eating. The situation that you really need to be prepared for is things are going to be a little more physical. Now today, Starry is hiking on one of the trails that I actually created in my backyard. And this is my backyard. It goes straight up, straight up. And I, I hike this with my dogs a couple times a week. And I usually don't get winded, but I tell you what, when I just started and I moved here, <laughs> and I was from very a flat land area, walking this terrain was taxing. And I'm an athlete, I'm in shape. I was taxed. So, so if it does come down to being prepared, start working on it now. Start taking some hikes, start taking some uh, walks, lose a little bit of weight, get that blood pressure down. And because that's the other thing, you may not have access to good medical care when a disaster strikes, when the grid goes down, wh whatever, when there is rioting and you have to flee from the city. And you may have to. I mean, I have watched and my husband has watched video after video of all of this violence between the cops and citizens, uh, cops shootings, um, and then, you know, looting uh, of stores during... <laughs> 
uh, you know, when, when, when people riot. And then what do they do? They go to the stores and they loot. Well, if you're in an urban area like that, you may have to get out. And what you will be leaving is the convenience of the grocery stores and the pharmacies. And, you know, if you have diabetes or you have high blood pressure, what are you going to do, right? So this is why it is imperative to, again, <laughs> be in shape and identify. Look at that. This is a St. John's wort plant. Yep, St. John's wort. What does it do? It's good for nerve pain. It's good for depression. It is good for um, wounds. Look at that. Y you have that skill. You don't need the pharmacy. Really important, friends. And up as I, I, I scan the vast wilderness here. Um, probably the other thing that I will recommend uh, for your preparedness is something that's very simple. Uh, and I don't have it on me today because I know my own backyard, uh, a compass. Getting a good old fashioned compass and learning how to use it. You know, we rely so much on uh, Garmin's and even in our cars now, don't they have, um, I, I know, Star, <laughs> I don't have a new car. I haven't been in a new car for a long time, but I know there's some type of navigational uh, system in most of these new uh, vehicles. How many of us even read maps anymore? How many of us have even looked at a topography map and knows how to read it? Uh, or even just use a simple compass. So if you are serious about the SHTF situation and concerned, having a compass is really just a real cheap basic thing to have and to learn just in case. Okay. All right, friends. Uh, just a little SHTF <laughs> advice from Starry. And we live the life, we walk the walk. So, um, and I'm really appealing to those people who are serious. There's always going to be naysayers out there and there's always going to be extremists out there. And I'm actually going to do some more videos discussing marauders and homesteaders versus bushcrafters and preppers. I'm going to talk about that too. So uh, be watching for those videos. But this was just a little scratching of the surface and giving you friends some preparation ideas because we are living the life up here in the mountains. And we moved here for a reason, because we really do feel, because uh, we are followers of Christ, we really do feel that um, end times are coming, or we're really basically living in end times. And people may scoff, but you know what? There's always going to be scoffers. And I don't care. Me and Mr. Hilder, we don't care. We're living this life. We are prepared and we have great peace. We have great peace. And that's the beauty of being a follower of Christ. No matter what happens, I know that we are going to be okay. But in the meantime, you should be prepared. You should. All of us should be prepared. It's just common sense. All right. Thanks, friends, for coming along on this hike and be watching for more from Starry Hilder's Off-Grid Homestead.